Hi guys, in this experiment we are going to see about regulation of alternator by ZPF and ASA method. Aim to predetermine the regulation of given three phase alternator by conducting OC, SC and ZPF test. Apparatus required voltmeter 0 to 600 volt MI ammeter 0 to 10 ampere MI and ammeter 0 to 2.5 ampere MC rheostat 300 ohm bar 2 ampere this is a circuit diagram of this experiment the motor is here and the alternator is here the procedure of this experiment is to first find the OC characteristics for OC characteristics, the rheostat is in minimum position and the motor is started using a 3 point starter and then the rheostat is adjusted to the rated speed of the motor and then the 220 volt DC supply is switched on to the field winding of the alternator by closing the corresponding DPST switch. Using the potential divider, the current in the field circuit is increased in steps of 0.1 ampere and at each step the alternator induces voltage indicated by the voltmeter in the field current that is IF and then take down the voltmeter and ammeter readings. This is OC test. For SC test, the TPST switch is closed and then take the corresponding ammeter reading also. For ZPF test, the potentiometer is bring back to its normal position and then inductive load is applied. Then varying the potentiometer to make the rated current that is 1.75 in this ammeter and then take the ammeter, voltmeter and ammeter readings. Taking the ammeter and voltmeter readings, the tabulated readings will be here. This is OC test. To find the E phase, just divide the EF line value by root 3 here. 80 divided by root 3, 46.1. The next value 180 divided by root 3 103.92 like this do for other four values also for ZPF test IF V and ammeter values are noted. This is the model graph for ZPF method. Now I am going to draw ZPF graph. I am taking scale x axis as 1 cm is equal to 0 0.25 amperes and y axis 1 cm is equal to 20 volt First, we should draw the OCC curve. For drawing this, plot the EF value against IF. That is first 46.1, 0 0.35. 0 0.35, 46. 
46.1 and then 0 0.70 for 103.92 0 0.70 103.92 like this do for all the values of if and ef Now join all the points. Now draw the R line gap just extending the first two points straightly. This is R line gap. And then draw the short circuit current that is 1.75 this one this point is A for ZPF curve draw IF 2.8 and VT 120 that is 2.8 and 120 straight here just combine the A and this point. This point is P. Take the length OE and then place it on the P and draw the same line with same measurement. That is the point is Q. With the point Q, draw a line parallel to the R line gap which cuts the OCC curve that the point is R. Join PR and then draw a perpendicular line from R touching the PQ line. This is yes. Now take the measurement of the RP line and then place it on the origin and then take the point. This OB is equal to RQ. Join AB. To find the armature leakage reactance, measure the length RS. RS equal to IXL, that is length of RS, that is 4.5 into 20, which is the scale of the Y axis into 2 is equal to 90 volt to find the FAR that is field current of the armature at full load length of PS that is length of PS equal to measure the length 4.4 FAR 4.4 into 0 0.25 which is the scale of the x-axis equal to 1.1 ampere the next one is the 
cable column the destabilization for lagging and leading power factor for lagging the formula will be e1 phase equal to root of vt cos theta plus i r a the whole square plus vt sin theta plus i x l the whole square f f1 is equal to corresponding field current of e1 phase from OCC f a r is equal to length of p s into scale f r is equal to root of f f1 the whole square plus f a r the whole square minus 2 f f1 f a r cos 90 plus theta theta is the value of o factor then e f is equal to corresponding voltage of f r from OCC and then percentage regulation is equal to EF minus VT into 100 by VT. For leading, the formula will be same just to inverse the symbol here and then here. Cos theta is equal to 0 0.8, that is, theta is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.8, that is cos inverse of 0 0.8 36.86 e1 phase equal to root of 239.6 which is rated voltage per phase into 0 0.8 plus 16.1 the whole square plus 239.6 into sin 36.86 plus 90 the whole square by calculating this in calculator the value will be 43172.528 plus 5462825 by adding these two values and then taking the root, the value will be 312.731. For FAR, the value will be 4.4 into 0.25, which is the x axis scale. Next, to find the EF value, take the graph. The FR value will be 2.5. So, take the 2.5 and then project it towards upwards. Let the line cut at OCC curve. Where it curves, take the line parallel to x axis. The line will be cut the y axis at 250, which is the EF value here 250. So the EF value will be 250 volt. And then percentage regulation. That is EF minus VT by VT into 100. EF 250 minus VT that is 230 9.6 9.6 divided by 2. Uh, For leading, the calculation will be e one phase equal to root of 239.6 into 0 0.8 plus 16.1 the whole square plus 239.6 
find 36.66 minus 90 the whole product taking the values here 43171 6.57 adding these two numbers and taking root will be 214.61 whole and then EF1 which is a rated short circuit current that is 1.75 that is here 1.75 and then FAR that is 4.4 that is IXL value and to 0 0.25 which is x axis scale 1.1 ampere def r is equal to root of 1.75 square plus 1.1 the whole square and 2 into 1.75 1.1 cos 90 minus 36.86 the value will be 1.40 to find the ef value take the graph again the value of f r will be 1.40 so taking the x-axis as 1.40 let the graph be projected towards the OCC curve from the x-axis 1.40 and then make this line to touch at y-axis the value will be 1.72 which is the EF value so one seven two whole percentage regulation will be EF minus VT by VT into hundred EF that is one seven two minus VT two thirty nine point six divided by two thirty nine point six into hundred twenty eight point two one minus twenty eight point two one percentage taking these values in the tabular column 214.61 evaluating these two tabular columns the zpf experiment is 